Tonight, new details in the arrest of this Polk County couple accused of posing as licensed contractors and taking tens of thousands of dollars from people for questionable work. After our story aired last night, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office tells us they too are now investigating this couple. It is a story 10 Tampa Bay Shannon Chloe has been digging into for weeks now and tonight she spoke to the sheriff about the investigation. Sheriff Grady Judd says this is a criminal case because the lineback showed a license number when they really didn't even have one. Just hours ago, I spoke with the sheriff about tips that could save you thousands of dollars. If you're going to have any work done, you make sure they're a licensed contractor. Otherwise, you can run into somebody like this. This is Richard and Adina lineback. They ripped off these folks for 26 thousand dollars. Former clients tell me the linebacks took way more than that. They took us for $45,700. We actually ended up having to uh, pull a loan. When I spend $28,000 with you, I expect the work to be professional. These three women say the linebacks told them their company, Lineback Home Services, had the correct licensing to do home renovations. And they said they had a contractor's license. Oh, they did for mold remediation. That mold remediator license former clients say was on the back of the Lineback Home Services truck. Whenever they tell you they're licensed, whenever they show you documents like these folks did that they were licensed, and you find out they're not, that makes it a criminal event. I took this license number, finding out it is a mold remediator license belonging to a family member of the linebacks. The couple doesn't have a contractor license. We have water that stands in our shower. The plumbing issues, it's my kitchen flooding twice. This is why Sheriff Judd says you need to verify everything. Don't ever let anybody work on your home without a written, written, written agreement. That could become evidence in a criminal case like this. The linebacks each face charges of grand theft and contracting without a license. To the linebacks and people like them, unless you want to come to Grady Town, don't violate the law. Oh, Grady Town, that's another term for the county jail. The two will be in court in May. I did reach out to the linebacks for comment and I haven't heard back. I'm in the studio, Shannon Clow, 10 Tampa Bay.